Hey guys, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video, I want to talk about building a blog with Oxygen Builder. And I might do a couple videos on this. We recently relaunched the Isotropic website as a blog first website. So during this process, we did a bunch of different things. We have a ton of content on this site. So rebuilding it, there are a couple things that I figured might be interesting to share with you guys um, to see if that could kind of help you when building your own websites. So in this video, I wanna talk about kind of creating custom post templates and layouts for specific types of content. And there are a few ways to do this, and the most standard way, I believe, would be to do a custom post type and then apply just a different template from Oxygen Builder onto that custom post type. But for this blog, you can see that we have some reviews, we have some tutorials, but we also have lists and, and special pieces of content that may be displayed differently, but are still a blog post. So I wanted to do this as an inspiration blog post. It's still a blog post. It's still published under the blog, but I wanted this to be laid out differently than your standard tutorial. So here's an example of what my, my normal article template looks like as a blog post and you can see dynamic data images um, all this all this stuff and this is just kind of like your standard you know um, your standard layout for a blog post it's the content within related posts and then all of this fun stuff with that being said I'm going to start publishing a ton of inspirational roundups and you can see that this is still a blog post um, it's still within the blog and it still should be a blog post because it's a bunch of inspiring restaurant websites. This should be a blog post. But this post has a different layout than this post. And I'm going to show you how I did that in this video. But quickly, this is what this post looks like. You have an introduction and then we have just a complete list of a bunch of really cool restaurant websites and really cool other websites. I'm going to start adding a bunch of different types of websites to kind of offer people inspiration into what some cool websites look like. And this is still a blog post again, and there's still content underneath it. And as we add more, there will be related posts and all that fun stuff, but it's a different layout. So let me show you kind of how that was done um, with that. And one other cool thing, if you go on Isotropic, there's a dark mode and a light mode. Just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's let's talk about how this was done. So this is a single blog post. This is a blog post, your standard WordPress blog post. We created an Oxygen Builder template that pulls in our header and footer, has an inner content as a catch-all, and then within that catch-all, we have the blog post template. So this is a single blog post template. The only place this template applies is onto your single blog post. And we can see that there are a few interesting components of this post. So the first thing we can see is that here's a layout for kind of the title of the inspiring website. So this is showing on our, our inspiring website post and then we have our main, uh, main, main blog post hero that displays on the main blog post. And as you can see, this, this post is made to be a main blog post um, and it's just displaying your inner content. Um, a couple advanced custom fields are populating this. You can see that this is just a dynamic um, insert from an advanced custom field. But let's talk about how we can differentiate between these two post types and how this information is added. So the first thing to look at is how these posts are kind of put together. So this is the back end for a normal blog post. We can see that underneath our category, it's just a WordPress um, plugin review, oxygen builder tag, uh, and that's that. And it's your standard featured image um, and your standard Gutenberg-esque content. And then within there, we can see this is this one has dynamic da data. I'm showing a post spotlight, um, product title, outlink, all that fun stuff. And then this is just, as I, as I kind of showed you before, dynamically inserted into here. And we're using conditions with that radio button that you saw. Um, if the, if the post spotlight is on, then the post spotlight will display here using the condition of if the radio button equals yes, then it will show. If it does not, then it won't show. And you'll notice as we kind of dive in a little bit, we're using conditions for a lot of this stuff. So this 
is your standard blog post, your standard post. Now, here's the inspiring restaurant websites post, and you can see a couple things. First, this is a dynamically populated year, but you may also be thinking, wait a second, that post, that title isn't showing up here. And that's because this is a custom, really custom post that's more customized using advanced custom fields and dynamic data populated into Oxygen than, than just a normal post using the Gutenberg content builder. And what I mean by that is that when we have a category of web design and dev and inspiration, then this custom advanced custom fields group will display on the blog post, which is a post type, a type of a post, no custom post, it's just the post. And within there, then we can now kind of populate our list of cool websites. And you'll notice this title style is an adaptive title. And what that means is that this title will adapt to the number. So there are 17 examples here, the number of inspiring restaurant websites. Um, if I chose to have your standard title, this would display the standard title. And I'll show you how that works in a, in a bit. Um, and then we have our intro, which is dynamically populated into the into the kind of body of the post and then we have a repeater which repeats through all of the websites that we find really interesting and you can see that there are a couple fields here the fat duck is the title this is kind of how it was built a bunch of images um, and then our conclusion for the blog post and we're not using really the Gutenberg content system aside from using this to manually or automatically generate our our um, our, our post excerpt um, but we're still using the standard blog post type of thing because I didn't want this to be a custom post but I wanted it to be a custom post design if that makes sense so the way all of this works on the front end is using the built-in condition system with oxygen you'll notice that we've set a condition for this entire section if the post category equals inspiration this condition will show or this entire section will show if it doesn't equal inspiration, so if it does not equal inspiration, then this section will show. And those two rules say, if it's inspiration, this will show and this won't. And if it isn't inspiration, this will show and this won't. And you can actually build that out to be kind of really dynamic to the type of categories that you've created. And I don't think you want to get too complex if you start having a ton of different content types. It'll probably be more performant without caching to be doing your standard kind of apply the post template directly to that custom post type. But if you're using different categories within a blog and you kind of want to display things a little bit differently, this is a great option to go about doing it. And you'll notice that here's our standard uh, post title for that, for, that list, um, for that list article. And you'll also notice that um, that's your standard title. That's what we'll display. So if that's checked off, under your conditions it will say if it's standard show this element and then within we kind of have a custom code block with another condition on it that says if it's not standard if it's the adaptive one and if we have rows within our repeater for sites then let's display the number of sites um, as our header and you'll see that here 17 that's the number of sites um, with the adaptive title and then within the actual content of our post we have said here's our inner content and this will pull all the the inner content built in Gutenberg which means for normal posts it'll show kind of the image Gutenberg element um, all of this and you can kind of build out your posts in Gutenberg and I really like that for blogs because there's no user lock-in with the actual post design um, if you use Gutenberg that's great because it's just outputting kind of like your standard um, really clean HTML, uh, very, very nice for, for your, your just normal uh, SEO. Just have it really clean, have it really standard. And then if I want to get unique and I want to have that, that kind of list item, I'm going to dynamically say I want to display this section, this section which includes our repeater of all the cool inspiring websites. I want to display this one when the category is inspiration and when it's not inspiration I want to display my inner content to say alright this inner content will show if it's not inspiration and then within here we have a repeater and in this repeater we're displaying kind of the title of all of our the title of of that single row so here's our title 
um, as a heading. Here's our made with link, and that made with link is then being displayed within the the builder as well. And you can see that here, um, and here's your title. And then we have all of our images, and we're using CSS Grid. Love CFS, CSS Grid. These images are just dynamically populated in using your standard OxyDynamic data. Here's the explanation of why we like the website. And then here's the content, or the, the conclusion content within. So that's kind of how we did a, a unique blend of, I want this post to be custom, but I don't want it to be a different post type. Let's figure out how to make that show as a list, a cool custom list that's pretty editable, pretty easy to, to mess around with. And the reason I like using ACF for these type of posts is, say I like Corsa better, I can just move Corsa up, above, or above, I can move these around, and they'll reorganize on the front end because it's a repeater displaying the ACF content. And then this is just the conclusion, um, and by custom styling it and inserting it, as a what you see is what you get editor. Um, it's a very similar thing to Gutenberg where it's kind of really clean outputted uh, code. So that's just a little cover or a little video I wanted to record. I had a couple questions on how did you do that. That's how I did it. Um, and if we go down, I can kind of just speak to here's our comment system. It's a comment list. I'm using WP Discuss, which is a really cool comments tool, um, and it will just automatically replace the comments list. If it doesn't, I can add a code block, add the PHP for WordPress comments, and it will replace that. Here is another just author article by the author, which is a heading with dynamic data inserted. You can also see this is built using um, OxyMade. And then the related posts. The related posts are their own reusable part, and they actually utilize the newer, new-ish, repeater plus advanced query which is just querying the categories and showing posts randomly from those categories um, when this was built we use search wp related posts and we may go back to that in the future but for now this is this is more than okay because we recategorized all the content on the blog there are 500 posts on this blog so it's not difficult to kind of find related posts especially in the more popular categories like oxygen um, I think we have like 100 posts on Oxygen here, so that's that. So that is just a really quick overview of how the single post page was built for Oxygen or built for Isotropic in Oxygen. Um, I may continue this series and kind of cover how we built the actual blog page, um, which is in itself pretty complex, displaying the most recent posts and then just a ton of different categorized posts. Um, YouTube videos, all of that, uh, all of the categories that we have. And you can see that uh, for Oxygen, that's probably one of the most popular tags on the site, um, alongside just an archive of the almost 500 posts, 480 plus posts on the blog, which is a calculated figure displayed to our readers. All right, so hopefully that was kind of like a insightful video and you can take some things away from that and apply it to your own website um, and keep an eye out for some more Oxygen videos. If you have any questions on how we did this site, it was a large project, a complete rebrand of an agency website into a content website and we're in the process of building the agency website. Um, for actually an Oxygen Builder course that we're going to be launching, which you will find under here, Oxygen Builder Mastery. And we actually incorporated WordPress and LearnDash onto this Oxygen site to sell these courses in the future um, with a ton of custom functions and stuff like that. So we can uh, even cover that if you'd like. So let me know if you'd like to learn more about things in the comments. All right, until the next video, I won't see you in the next video. I will.